We've talked about the states of the Empire, but we did not talk about the special place of the Empire. So today, we are going to talk about the special place in Old Dorf Reichland. As Old Dorf is the capital of the Empire, it has lots of entertainment facilities. And today we are going to the Imperial Zoo. Imperial Zoo is the largest zoo in the old world and has created various environments for animals brought from various regions. We can see the beasts from Lustry, the Wyvern from the Badlands, see creatures from the Vampire Coast, wild bears from Kislev, primal creatures from the Arctic, mountains of Morn. From the Araby Desert, spiders from the forest, hydras from Nagaroth, lions and eagles from Ulthum, <laughs> stags from the forest, dark pegasus, giant man-eating snake from Lustria, even the chaotic beasts from the chaotic wastes. You may wonder how these dangerous creatures are delivered to the zoo. Well, let's take a look at it. <laughs> Yes, most of the beasts in the zoo are from the lords who use beasts as their weapons. These travelers taunt those lords deliberately, steal the war beasts they sent, and deliver them to the zoo. It is really dangerous. But the law of money cased it by the Imperial Zoo gives these men infinite leadership. Even now lords who are using Morbius are being scammed by these travelers. Thanks to these brave travelers, the Imperial Zoo has almost every creature in the old world. It is one of the best entertainment facilities in the old world. But it is not only for the entertainment purposes, but also being used for the military purposes. The finest war horses are being tamed and trained here. Also, the Pegasus in the zoo serves the Imperial officers. There's also Griffin for the elect accounts and the Emperor. We can see the mightiest Griffin in the history, Carl Franz's favorite pet, the Death Claw. Carl Franz hatched the Griffin egg gifted by Athel Lauren and raised Death Claw in this zoo since he was a child. And now, Death Claw is the most powerful beast in this zoo. Even there are unknown and dangerous creatures in the secret laboratory of the zoo. However, even this majestic beast has its rival. It's the Imperial Dragon. It came to the zoo when it was an egg, so unlike other dragons, it just wants to enjoy the quiet and peaceful life in the zoo. However, everything has changed after Emperor Karl Franz rode this dragon. None but Emperor Karl Franz have ever dared to ride it, which means the dragon wasn't trained for this. Even it was dangerous. There were no accidents because the dragon did not want any trouble that would destroy its peaceful life. But... After this day, the Imperial Dragon's quiet and peaceful life in the zoo perished. Before finishing this episode, let's see the most disgusting, horrifying. Words cannot describe this monstrous creature. Even this chaos spawn living in the same cage with this creature is trembling in fear. No, it's not the creature in the secret laboratory. The abomination of stone, the species of this creature, is average stone. The reason why he is staying in the cage is it's much better than stone. The citizens of Altdorf who visit the zoo screen and run away as soon as they see this creature. Thank you for watching our show. Don't forget to subscribe.